friends, welcome back to the vlog channel and thank you so much for watching. What a couple of days it has been. So I have been working in overdrive to um, get everything set up for vacation next week. I have to like film my content for this week. I also have to film my content for next week. I have like some sponsored videos, some sponsored posts going up next week. Um, on top of like my regular content and then LTK day is this weekend or LTK shop sale whatever like the in-app like to know it sale is this weekend and then prime day is literally the Monday we get back it has been the craziest craziest like three what's today Wednesday three days but we are supposed to be oh my hair we're supposed to be uh, kind of like winding down on the work side of it and like winding up on the house side of it. So I might actually have stuff to vlog now. Um, Sam takes off work on Friday and I think we're actually gonna, I need to look it up while I'm sitting here before I forget. Okay, so I need to get on. There has been some discrepancy about COVID tests. So I have read everything. I've done all the research and it's funny you guys are actually propped up. Let me show you. We have this as insurance. I bought this from CVS. It came in like a day and actually it was in stock. I just didn't want to take a chance of like driving to my CVS and then them being out of stock. So I just had it shipped. Um, it was like $23 for two antigen tests. Now they're self tests, but this is an insurance policy for us. We are taking this with us to the beach. We have to get a COVID test, but we have heard horror stories of people getting places and you know, resorts, doing the test and it coming back like a false positive. And then them being like, you have to pay for a whole other week here. You're gonna have to quarantine for 10 days. We won't retest you. Your next test is gonna be $400, like all this stuff. And I've heard that people who can whip out these bad boys can be like, no, 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 look, I did my own test. It came back negative. And that was enough for the company to be like, okay, maybe our test was a false positive and then retest. Um, so this is like an insurance policy. So there's been a lot of research that's been done this week. Um, but basically we had to do our travel verification to get into Jamaica. It was really easy. It was just like this seven page form that we had to fill out online. And basically you just had to agree, excuse me, you, it was kind of like a pre-customs form. You had to tell them you weren't gonna bring anything crazy and you weren't going to you know, you guys know like regular customs forms. They ask like how much money you're bringing into the country and all this stuff. And then you also had to agree that like you hadn't been to certain countries in the past couple weeks and what state were you flying out of and what county and um, all of that. So we got that travel verification and we now have to, the next step is our COVID test. So um, I want to say- Hey friends. Okay, so I have no idea when this vlog is gonna go up. I really don't know if it's gonna go up tonight. I don't think it will, but we're just being hopeful about that. Um, so I'm gonna sit here and put on my shoes and I wanna tell you guys, so today, Sam's getting his haircut right now. Um, has been a, it's a, been a beauty day. Sam's getting his haircut right now. I went and got waxed this morning. When I tell you that my Brazilian was literally the easiest thing I've ever done in my life, like, like visits to the gyno are worse than that. It has only gotten easier every time I go. And she's like so nice. Um, I'll leave her info in the description bar below for you guys. If you're in Spartanburg, um, I highly recommend checking her out. And if you're in Greenville, check her out. It's just a little bit of a drive, but she is amazing. And she makes you feel really comfortable, especially to be pantsless. Um, but I got my armpits waxed. Ow, okay, ow. So my Brazilian, the very first time, um, gosh, this is like super unattractive the way I'm doing this. So the very first time I did my Brazilian, I told you guys on a scale of one to 10 and I have a full vlog on it. I would say that the pain at some points was an eight and other times it was like a six or even a four. It wasn't that bad. The second time I went back, um, it was more like a, like a four to five for all of it. Today, I'd say it was a three or four. But the aftermath of the Brazilian was like zero. Like there was nothing. It was a little bit tender. Like if you touched it for, you know, the first 12 hours. But after that, there was absolutely no pain. Okay, got my armpits waxed. I had to grow the hair out for like a week and a half. It wasn't that bad. It made me want to shave a lot, but it wasn't that bad. She said I had really, really like thick roots to my hair and she even showed it to me and I was like that is disgusting like I have thick roots 
it didn't hurt. Scale of one to 10, I, we're talking like two or three, okay? But the aftermath, oh my gosh. So I had pinpoint bleeding. So my armpits don't, I don't think it's like razor burn because that's not really what it is. I think it's like the like little blood and like the follicles or whatever it's called are just like kind of inflamed from what I had done. But y'all, I just put a, my sports bra on a minute ago and you know how like you have to like throw your arms obviously through the loops of it and the sports bra kind of sit here before you pull it down. Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> so I will be interested to see how it um, continues to look i'm sure it will go down oh, i'm sure it will go down but it was very painful afterwards not during but afterwards however i just have to say one more time brazilian best decision i've ever made in my entire life like it was it's the easiest thing in the entire world it takes no time at all and it's just like done you know i gotta worry about it for three weeks okay i'm gonna go on a walk now because it looks like it's gonna rain oh soon. okay guys we are officially covid tested i'm like 2% of me is a little worried because I gave the lady when I was reading out my confirmation code, I said seven instead of Z. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I don't know if they're gonna get it right. You need to go, you need to go. Um, I don't know if they're gonna get it right because like. I think they will, I don't think it'd be an issue. Well, I hope so, but it was not fun. It wasn't terrible, it was not fun. I sneezed so hard after it like really hurt but they said we should get our results within an hour so i'm hopeful <laughs> test negative um we just did like a cbs that's really close to us or not really close but the closest that does the testing to us um and that's our last hurdle if we can get negative covid tests I don't see why we wouldn't. I don't see why we wouldn't either, but I hear that the the rapid test is the one that if you have like a cold comes back positive. Um, and I just have like really bad allergies right now, but I'm excited. I'm hoping obviously that it's negative and that will be our last hurdle and we will be free and clear. But they, we got there and the lady was like, she walked up. What did she say to you? She was like. So she, she, she asked, she said, you know, what's your name? What time are you here for? I was here for a 10, he was here for a 10.30, same lane. So, so we were so parked. So I said, I said, my name is Sam Robinson, I'm the 10.30, this is Mariah Robinson, she's the 10. And she said, oh, y'all are early. And it was like 9.55, she goes, y'all are early. Yeah. And she disappeared. Yeah, and we were like, N no, we, well, I mean, we're five minutes early, but we're not early. So for 15 minutes, or actually 20, we sit in our car. And she finally comes out and she's different, like. Different lady comes out. Well, that was that was in 15 minutes. This exit girl's right here. Um, the, a second lady comes out and she's like, oh, I mean, y'all are early. We're looking for someone else. And I was like, uh, okay. So then finally 20 minutes go by and the second, the first nurse comes back out again and she's like, what's y'all's name? Everyone comes out so, oh. She said everybody's getting here late and it's putting us behind. They're on a way. Yeah, she goes, everyone's getting here late and it's putting us behind. And we were like, okay, but my appointment's for 10 and his is for 10 30 and it's currently 10 15 and she was like oh no and i was like lady so i, I don't have i don't have much faith that you know I, I do, it's fine it's gonna I be okay it's fine, cause she she had to scan our license to register the test yeah so even if you gave her the wrong confirmation number she's gonna put that test with your license which will go to my chart i guess but... so they might mess up the phone call part but we just need to check the my chart yeah stuff. i just was like very frustrated because they kept going you're early you're early and then we come out and they're like well everyone's showing up late and i'm like well, okay but i'm technically on time and he's technically early but like there's no big gap here i mean we are the 10 and 10 30 slot and i'm not leaving until we get our test so it actually is just now 10 29 so we ended up getting ours done it just like there was a lot of mariah didn't get hers at 10 but confusion. they did mine at the same time so it was yeah not a big deal all right we're gonna go eat some tacos but we gotta wait Three more minutes to get tacos. And then we're going to wait like two hours. Hey guys, so we have had quite a day. Um, we just like kind of got stuck in downtown. We had to go like take the COVID test. And we told you guys like the lady just wasn't the most like with it. But um, we did end up getting our results back. She said they'll call within an hour. They called like three hours later, um, which I knew. But we... Yeah. Ended up going to Lowe's after that. We like, well, we went to eat, um, went to Lowe's, just wandered around because we had a grocery pickup. I wasn't aware, like I had never done the COVID testing since last April when everything was crazy. I have hiccups. This is my new water bottle. I've been drinking a gallon a day because I can fill this up three times through the day. It's 40 ounces, so drink a gallon. 
can kind of tell this is like my summer vibe that like really cool blowy anyway um so i had only gotten a covid test back in april and it was like it took hours like you would go through the line and sit for hours so i didn't know that it was literally going to be we pull into one of three parking spots they come take your test and then you leave like i thought it was a lot more detailed than that i guess i could have really just asked i made our grocery pickup for one and our test was at 10 30 so we just like ate and then just wandered around lowe's um but we got the call on the way home that both of our tests were negative so we are really excited finally that's like the last hurdle we had to jump through so we're last minute we decided we're going to go to charlotte tomorrow that's the airport we're flying out of charlotte is not that far from us like not even a little bit it's like an hour hour and a half um, but we got an email while I was at lunch and it said that TSA right now is taking a lot longer because of COVID protocol and they recommended we get there three hours before our flight. So we decided we're going to stay, um, in Charlotte the night before. So we're actually going to be heading up there tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Next time I'm vlogging, um, it will be, we'll be home. We are so excited. We've been planning this trip for 10 months. So love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the vlog and we will see you in our next one.